Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about an article I read recently and it was Juan Manuel Marquez speaking on the next fight that Canelo is having. Now just to provide some context, a lot of people have been critical of Marquez's critiques thinking that he's too harsh and he's overcritical when it comes to Canelo citing some corner, citing some sort of jealousy or rivalry clouding his judgment and causing him to be unfair in his analysis when it comes to Canelo's fights and and who he should be fighting you know for example I think Mark has actually scored the Danny Jacobs fight for Jacobs and he received a lot of you know flack for that for the record I think that he was wrong on that I mean he did look kind of suspect there However, this article that I read, he's speaking nothing but the truth here. In fact, he's preaching to the choir, in my opinion. Uh, basically, he's saying the same things that I've been saying uh, when it comes to his next fight, Canelo's next fight with Billy Joe. And that's just that, it's just a good fight. It's, it's not a great fight. Like, I can respect the things that Billy Joe can bring to the ring. Good boxing skills, high IQ, great jab, he's a mover. You know, he's undefeated. He's been a world titleist, I believe, in two weight classes. I think he hold, he held the WBO strap at, at 162. I know he has the one at 168. However, I think when it comes to 168 and 175, Canelo could have been choosing a little bit of a tougher opponent. Now, we can just start with 168. I think it's definitely an open argument as to whether... Caleb Plant and David Benavidez are better fighters than Billy Joe Saunders. That's going to ignite a little bit of, you know, anger in some of the fans over there in the UK. But look, Billy Joe Saunders, he has good wins over Andy Lee a few years ago, Chris Eubank Jr. a few years ago. Other than that, in his last fight against a nobody, he looked poor. He looked piss poor. I've heard some people say, oh, he, he fights to his level of competition that will be seen. That's to be seen because Canelo is probably by far the best opponent he's ever fought. And while he has these good skills that we've seen in the ring so far, who knows how that's going to, what if that's even going to matter against an elite opponent like Canelo? Maybe those skills will just look like garbage to him. We don't know that. So, you know, 168, I'm not completely sold that he was the best fighter there. In fact, I hold my own private opinion on who the best fighter there. And it's, not even close that's not billy joe saunders and at 175 man he moves up and wins a world title at 175 and that's a great accomplishment however it was an over the hill champion that he fought who i've already seen get knocked out twice in the past three years and then now that canelo knocked him out it's three times in three years it's just look I can't get excited about that. I don't care how much weight you climb. You fight a guy who I've already seen battered, and I mean battered badly in the ring in recent memory. I just, I'm not going to get excited about that. I don't care how many weight classes you jumped. Kovalev was the weakest champion in the weight class, barely held down by a thread against Anthony Yard, and somehow could hold on to his belts leading to a big payday against Canelo. Kovalev actually hung in there, but he's shot. And he was shot. A far cry from the champion that ruled the weight class five, four or five years ago. I think even longer than that. 2013, 2014, that's like seven years ago. Six, seven years ago. But there's two names there. Archer Betterbeev, hard puncher. I know he's in his mid-30s, but he's got an undefeated record, hasn't had many fights, is a very preserved you know, I think 34, 35 year old, and Dimitri Bivol, who I think a lot of people, including myself, think he's actually the best fighter at light heavyweights. So, you know, the problem I have is with Canelo fans saying that he's not a true 175 pounder, he shouldn't be fighting Bivol or better be because he's not really fit for that weight class. But these are the same people that cheer on his world title win against Kovalev. But I thought he wasn't big enough for the weight class, you're basically admitting there that that was a cherry-picked fight, that he fought a light-touched opponent. And it's just like, some of these boxing fans blow my mind. They're rooting for specific fighters, 
and specific agendas instead of rooting for the best fights. And while this Billy Joe fight is great and all, you know, it'll make some money there, at least in the UK, I hope. You know, I'm not sure if it's going to really sell a lot of subscriptions in the US. There are some real, there are some real fights out there that could be happening that we're just not seeing. And like Marquez wants Canelo to step up, I'm right there with him.